Hello YouTubers, Juki Dive here. Today I'm going to do a review on the Buckman Duck. Now, as you know, this is a model that fans of a character that fans have really wanted Buckman to make for a really long time. And well, yep, finally it was worth the wait. And I must say, I'm really blown away how well Buckman Duck looks. I think he's such a fantastic looking model. From right to the very end. They really got his... Like, he looks very accurate to how he looks in the... Like, how he looks in the model series era of the show. Um, yep. So, let's... Oh, have a look at his face. Now, as you know, his face... Is very accurate to his face, his face that he had from from seasons three, from seasons three to seven. Yep, so that's pretty nice. He's got great rest in the GWR on both his sides of his tanks. He's got the number eight on his sides of his cab. He's got a nice, he's got a cab. He's got holes and stuff. He's got, yep, um, yep. He's got black coal and stuff. So yep. He doesn't have any cap DLs, but it's covered up by this black piece thing. <laughs> kind of similar to the Skull of the Engines in Season 4. Um, yeah, I like... So the detail on this character is very nice. Um, um, his wheels are basically like a... a sort of like a... Look very identical to Donald and Douglas's. Except they're a little bit smaller. He's got this black sandbox thing right here. And green sandboxes here and here. Now, as you know, um, the best detail they've done is that they gave, he has a white running board. A white running board, which is really nice. Um, the pro, his first prototype model, uh, which came out in October 2012, had a, had a black running board, then the second prototype in 2013 had a grey running board, so, and I'm surprised that they, they actually gave him a white running board. And I think that's really nice that that is very accurate to the TV series. Um, to the model series here of the show. So yeah, um, he's got a black hook dummy. Now, as you know, the elephant in the room here is that his buffer beams, like these things right here, if you can see, are black, are black and not painted red. So I think that's the only poor thing left down on the... That's the only thing that's really let down on my, let down, let down on this model. But uh, if you look all past that, it the model's really flawless. He's got a whistle right here, yep. As you know, this one has like a, there's a bit of a crack here, but I don't know, really bothered it. It's still a fantastic model. Yep, and so for size comparisons, uh, we'll have him stay. Let's have a look. Him standing next to the Hornby Duck. Now, as you know, uh, as you know, the Hornby Duck is um, if you're just getting closer is slightly taller than the Buckman Duck. But if you look at lengthwise, yep. If you look at lengthwise, the Buckman Duck is actually longer than the Hornby Duck. But the Hornby Duck is actually uh, taller than the Buckman Duck. So yep. Um, then we'll have him look have him next to, standing next to the Hornby Thomas, so if any of you who are Railway Series fans and collectors who are more Railway Series accurate, this model's the perfect one for you because it's more accurate to, to him in the Railway Series if you prefer his, and it, because the Buckman Duck's more closely resembling more of his real life basics from the Railway Series, like his real life basics, and Duck was actually a little bit smaller than Thomas and in the railway series, so yep. So he's actually in really accurate scale against the Hornby Thomas. So if you prefer something that's a little bit more railway, railway, if you prefer more railway series style, then this one, this one's perfect for you. Now, if we have him having a look against Buckman Thomas, he's he's actually just like the Hornby Duck. He's slightly taller. He's slightly taller than the Buckman. Buckman Thomas, although he is slightly a little bit shorter in some areas, but despite that, he's still a fantastic model, and I think he's one of the best 
like models we have had. So let's give him a test run. Mm -hmm. Gotta make sure he's on. So yeah, he's on. And yep, he runs very smoothly for such a character. Who, um, his top speed is... He actually surprisingly goes pretty fast for his speed and unlike the Hornby Duck, which is a quite an advantage, he doesn't model. So that's pretty a pretty high advantage. So as you know, he's pretty much... He does very well. So... Overall, he's actually a really, overall, a really fantastic model. Probably like one of the best models that Buckman has ever made. While the Hornby one has been around for a really long time, Buckman has done a far better job. So overall, and by and not forever, this is Juki Dave, oh, signing off. Bye.